Cases of RSV in West Michigan have peaked, and that is according to the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. However, the flu has taken its spot. Dr. Hussein Mirandi, president of Helen DeVos, says they are seeing more patients testing positive now for the flu versus RSV, and those numbers are higher than a normal flu season. But we are seeing more patients with the flu. Uh, those patients are requiring, uh, some of them requiring hospitalization, because again, many of these children, because flu affects their lungs and respiratory status, they're requiring additional support, and that has to be done within a hospital setting. So yes, we are seeing more patients with the flu, and we are seeing more patients that are coming to the ED to test positive, and more of those that are needing admissions that we have in the past. Those being admitted for the flu are younger, under the age of one, and Dr. Mirandi adds that we are just at the beginning of the flu season, which generally lasts until March, and that you should consider vaccinating your child for the flu if you haven't already. The flu can be deadly for people of all ages, and according to health experts, the number of flu vaccinations in Michigan is currently down from last year. Today, those experts pleaded with the public to get vaccinated, along with a man who lost his young daughter to the flu. 13 on your side's Keely Lover is in our newsroom. She joins us now. Keely. Yeah, without the COVID precautions that we've seen in the past few years, Michigan has already seen a severe RSV outbreak, as you guys mentioned, and flu hospitalizations nationally, among the highest levels in more than a decade. Across the nation, there have been 14 pediatric deaths from the flu, and peak season isn't even here yet. In 2003, five-year-old Elena Yoxich from Oakland County died of the flu. Today, her father, Zach, spoke alongside experts to share her story and plead for people to get the vaccine. He said he doesn't want any other family to have to go through what his did, especially as experts continue to warn that young children are at high risk for complications from the flu. Uh, a perfectly healthy little girl had, um, she was vaccinated, fully vaccinated from all childhood vaccinations, with the exception of the flu vaccine. Um, at that time, she did not fall within the re age recommendation. And please protect yourselves and your families and, and get the flu shot. January and February historically bring the highest flu levels, but experts say the flu season has hit six weeks early this year. You can ask your doctor for the flu vaccine. Also, you can find them at most pharmacies, health clinics, and drugstores.